Hey guys, welcome back to more Let's Play Mega Man. In the last part, we took on Dr. Wily stages 1, 2, 3, and 3. 1, 2, 3, yeah. Because the word and is insignificant. And anyway, now we're going to go after Dr. Wily stage 4 and finally beat Dr. Wily. You open up with these things, and they are super annoying and hard to dodge, as I have stated time and time before again. <laughs> These things have actually caught me off guard and make me fall in those spikes below multiple times. You would not believe how frustrating that gets. Anyway, look at this. Statues of Gutsman. Why does Dr. Wily have statues of Gutsman in this castle? It gets weirder as the time goes on. Wily makes odd references to Gutsman later and later again. <laughs> I'm not gonna spoil it, but... You know. Anyway, uh, this is a rather frustrating part right here. I'm gonna need to use the magnet beam. On top of that, you've got this. These pla seriously, how did I miss that? B R B. Anyway, as I was saying, this is a frustrating part because not only do you need to time your jump perfectly to land on this thing, but you need to use the magnet beam and get over to it like perfectly. On top of that, there is an extra life and a certain item over there that we're going to want. Darn it all. BRB again. Anyway, as I was trying to say over and over again, what you need to do, use the magnet beam here, then here, you can get to this odd item. I don't really know what it's called. It's like a ninja star. Uh, Shuriken, I believe those are called. And then you can collect it, and it refills all your weapon energy. Good. Remember when we fought Cutman and Electman again? Now we gotta fight all of them. This is a boss gauntlet. Where you have no weapon energy refills, no way of replenishing health, and... They are very jerks with this. This is not fun at all. I will say right now, if you do not have at least two lives, not 02, 01 is fine, because you have, must afford to die once after this is done. I'll show you why later. Now we have Fireman. And instead of putting out fires, because like regular and good Fireman should do, he. Yeah, he's not fun. Take the Elect Beam, you're fighting Iceman next. Do this. One, two, three. We made it. And now we come to Gutsman, who I will not beat, I bet. See? Didn't beat him. BRB. Again. Okay, let's try that again. I'm probably not going to be in this time either. Seriously, that attack is impossible to dodge. Uh, I'm not going to beat the game now. Because you see... Why did I even use the fireman's weapon against him? I should not bother resisting. I'm just going to kill myself now, and I will meet you guys back here. So bomb man, just bomb me. Bomb the blue bomber. Bomb me. Kill me. Kill. Kill. Destroy. Once again, BRB everyone. Sorry about this, but I'll explain later. Let's try to meet the boss rush again. This time I'm going to use the Mega Buster on the Bomb Man. Because, you know. Because, like Toad Man from Mega Man 4, he will jump here anywhere near him and it makes him easy. I don't have to slide. Okay. Ugh, come on, why did can that thing hurt me? Why doesn't it disappear? I cannot beat Gutsman with three fifths slurs of health left, or, sorry, I have four now, but...
come on! It froze me in midair! That is not fair. Okay, I have a lot more health now, and now maybe I'll stand a chance against Guts Man. I said maybe. I didn't say I would. Trust me on this. Okay, maybe not. Guts Man, stay still for once. And... Yes! Whoa, that was weird. What happened to the song? Uh, a note from the song just disappeared. That's weird. Whatever, I don't care. So, after all that hard work and determination, you expect to get rewarded with, like, 20 life capsules and 50 weapon capsules, right? Just one weapon capsule. That's all they give you. Nothing more. Nothing more. Okay, that line was creepy. So yeah, you're gonna have to die against Dr. Wily. Dr. Wily, I will kill you by killing myself first. <laughs> uh, that's funny. This is why you need at least two lives before you get to this place. One to get through the boss rush. It, assuming if you can, and the other to, you know, make it through this. The two weapons I recommend you use the most are, for this first phase, the Elect Beam or the, uh, Fire Wheel, whatever it's called. I don't care what it's called. Both work well. I recommend the Fire Wheel more. Wily's actually not that hard. This is the phase that will probably give you the most trouble. Rolling cutter works as well here. You can also use the elect beam. That will work well, too. Yeah. Darn it! No! Please. Please. Okay, good. I was about to have a heart attack there. I will be right back. Yeah, why not? I'll just commentate. Yeah, jumping, shooting the rolling cutter works pretty well. Darn it! All oh, why this never happened in the practice run? Uh, well, I'm back now. <laughs> Let's try and do this again. But unfortunately, this is the run where you know. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna have to die now. But you know, at least I'll have made an effort. Yeah, Wily, lap it up. You'll not be good soon. You'll not be good soon? What does that even mean? Anyway. Yeah, this last part's not going to be easy to edit. <laughs> not at all. You know, you can always use the pause glitch here, but... If worse comes to worse, I'll use it, but I really do not want to use it. I've beaten the boss without using the pause glitch. Because look, he's not supposed to be that hard. Let's try the elect beam. This is another strategy you can use. You can just get under him and use the elect beam. But, you know, the rolling cutter is probably a better strategy. Sprite flickering doesn't make anything easier on you. This is the pause glitch. Why did I use it? I... 
how did, was I supposed to see that? Okay, look, how was I supposed to see that? That's what I get for using the pause glitch, isn't it? Oy vey. This is the Let's Play Curse, isn't it? Uh, why am I having so much trouble? That's it. I'm using the pause glitch. I don't care. Okay. One last attempt where I don't use the pause glitch. <laughs> what was that? Alright, that's it. If worse comes to worse, I won't use the pause glitch because... You know how to beat him, and in theory it should work, but it doesn't. I don't know why it doesn't work. I glitched the song again, didn't it? That's it, pause glitch time. Sorry guys, but too bad. <laughs> what was with that reaction? <laughs> anyway guys, I rage quit it after this, cause I was not gonna go through that again. And I really apologize for this, but I'm using the run of my practice run, like, of my final boss take, that I actually succeeded in. Turns out the Elect Beam actually is his weakness, not the Rolling Cutter. I apologize for this, and maybe one day I'll redo this Let's Play legitimately. But until then, I'll leave you guys with this. I'm sorry. Let's go. So, first you want phase, you're going to want to use the fireman's weapon. And now, for the second phase, use the elect beam. Okay, die. Staying under him is a good idea, too. And... And yes, I did it! And with that, Mega Man has defeated Dr. Wily. I have just barely averted dying. And wow, I'm impressed with myself. Only, like, two years. And yay, we did it. Mega Man has ended the evil domination of Dr. Wily and restored the world to peace. Fun fact, this is actually a remix of Mega Man 2's intro theme. However, the never-ending battle continues until all destructive forces are defeated. Fight Mega Man for everlasting peace! And that's Mega Man on the NES for you. Fun, great platformer, which spawned a ton of sequels. Yeah, that's Mega Man. 
And like I said before, it's a good game. There's really nothing wrong with it structurally. It's just that the sequels are better. <laughs> so yeah, I enjoyed playing for you. And I feel proud that I beat it a second time. So, yeah, next time we do this, it'll be the Let's Play. Because <laughs> this was just a practice run. Let's see Mega Man when he was rock. <laughs> and there's Dr. Lightning Roll. Presented by Capcom USA. Yep, that's Mega Man. Great game. The end. And it brings us back here. Well, too bad.